So let's expand our example of enum with if else and switch. Now, as I mentioned before, these are constants, right? So basically when you have this constant, can we just compare them? We can actually, the way you compare normal variables or strings. So let's take an example here. Let me just remove int variable there and let me also remove the array. Let's keep it uh, simple now. So let's say I have a status here and S is equal to, and the status of which I want to set is let's say uh, pending. Okay, initially the state will be pending and this value can be coming from anywhere. Maybe you called a method which returns this success or this status and you want to check what is a status and based on that you want to print some value. Example, if it says uh, running, I can print all good. If it is failed, I can say try again. If it is pending, I can say please wait. If it is success, I can say done. So how do I know what is this value? For that we have to compare, right? So you can say if the S is equal to equal to status dot running, if this is a status, I will print, I will come back here and I will print all good. And I can say if else, I want to check for the second one, I will say if status dot, uh, if it is matching with failed, I can print try again, else if, if the status is equal to, I mean S is equal to status dot uh, let's say pending. Now in this case, I can say, please wait else. Of course you can also do if else, else if here, but we only are left with only one status. So I can say else I can print done. Okay. So basically you can actually compare the status with the help of if else, and we can just come back here, say compile and run. You can see it works. It says, uh, please wait because the status is pending. But what if you got a status, which is, uh, running state. In that case, it will print all good. Okay. So this is how basically you can work with if else. But what if you want to work with switch? Uh, because see, in switch, there is a limitation which you know, a switch can support, right? Uh, it supports integer string and many more. But here, the question is, does it support enum? And the answer is yes. So what I will do here is instead of using if else, I will just reuse the code, but I will use a switch here. And in this switch, you can pass the status as it is. There's a change compared to if else, which is when you say case, you know, in if else, you basically have to use the status as well. But in case you don't have to do that because anywhere the S is of type status, right? So it knows whatever you're passing is basically part of a status. So you can directly use the constant itself. So I can say running, if it is running, I can just print this statement. And of course in uh, switch, we have to also put a break and then we can check for the second case. So that's case uh, failed and here we can have try again. So of course you have to say break here as well. What else? We have two more. In fact, let me just delete the entire stuff from here. If part, you know, I'm so lazy. I can just reuse this. So the next status is what? Pending. In pending, I can say, please wait. And then the last one is success. In fact, for success, instead of even writing the case, we can say default. And here we have to give a colon and we have to say done. So basically whatever we have done with if else, we can also do it with switch and switch actually makes much more sense here uh, because we are working with constants, right? So switch looks good in the case of enums. And now the question is, will this work? Let's try compile and run. It works. You can see it says all good, but yeah, if I change the status to let's say success, I just want to see if it prints done. Yeah, we got done. So this also works with uh, switch. So that's how we can use if else and switch with enum.